Welcome back to Project 365, everybody. We've got Corey and Julie here from SB Pace. We are going to talk about some sales again. And today we want to know how I know what my prospect's pain is. Now what? Solve it. Exactly. Um, I think, I mean, the solve it, that, that's like a, you know, the quick, easy answer, but that is the quick, easy answer. It's what, what pain are they having and what is it that you do that can solve that pain? And now we're not necessarily talking about physical pain, like a broken arm or something like that. It's like, what, what are you solving for? There's something you're trying to fix, whether it's improving upon their life, uh, making their life easier. You could be fixing a physical pain. It could just be reducing the amount of time they spend doing X, Y, or Z. So understanding what's causing them some sort of mental or physical anguish, and then really selling to that. Like you, like it's, it's every infomercial at, you know, at, at two in the morning. Like, oh no, all of this stuff broke. What do I need? Mighty putty. Ooh, gorilla <laughs> glue. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's that's good. I like that. Um, I think it's important to, um, when you, you know, customer's pain could be, you know, anything from they can't figure out how to, you know, they're, they're not efficient at helping their clients to um, they have employees that quit on them all the time to literally they have some physical ailment or something that, that, like you mentioned. So um, once you understand what that pain is, um, I think it's important to know if you actually can solve it or not, right? And, you know, operating with integrity from your core values. And if you can't solve it, then um, referring them to maybe somebody who can or giving them an idea, like you might want to talk with, you know, so-and-so or whatever um, is, is a good approach. But if it is something that's in your wheelhouse to solve, then, um, you know, mapping out a plan to show them how you're going to solve it. And uh, frequently, um, and we see this a lot, right? We get, you know, a business owner who we talk to who they think they have, they think their problem is X, like, you know, I can't hire people. They think the problem is that there's no good workers when really the problem might be something else that's starting way, way earlier in the process. So you, so really, really understanding what the actual pain is, nailing that down and then figuring out like, how can we solve that? Or who do we know that can? It's key. All right. Anything else to add? No, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow.